How can God send the truth without being the messenger? Wouldn't the, the truth get lost in translation, right? So now uh, I'm reading from uh, the Shihid International Version of uh, the, uh, the Noble Quran, chapter 21, verses 25 through 35. And it says, uh, verse 25 in chapter 21 says, And we sent not before you any messenger, except we revealed to him that there is no deity except me. So worship me. Now, if I am the truth, then what is the message? Right? How can I separate myself from the message of truth about me? How can I, like, say, well, God said this and not say I said it? See, this is the thing, but if I committed a crime, you wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say God said commit the crime. But now if I'm telling the truth, I can't say I'm God telling the truth. See, so are you God? See, uh, uh, so who are we sent and we sent not before you? So who in this now is you? If it ain't you who I'm talking to. So if we is not the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, uh, um, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, um, uh, uh, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, the Holy Quran, and Tommy Chancey Council Sr., and Four Councils Incorporated. Right, because all of those entities is I, right? Because I and those entities are we in the civil and criminal courthouses and Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. Therefore, who would be we today if we is not us, which is the word, the written word? Because no man believed in me, and those who believed in me lost faith in me. But the only people or the only entities that believed in my innocent was, was written words that I had to write. See what I'm saying? If I did not write the Constitution in self-defense, who was going to write it for me? So when I wrote the Constitution in self-defense on my own behalf, then I chose to not make a deal with Satan. See? So now, if I would have made a deal with Satan, according to the definition of Satan, then who would have been God? Would both of us be Satan, the person whom I made the deal with? Well, where would God be in the deal that I made with Satan? See, if, it's, if according to Jewish belief, Satan has a God that commands him to tempt humans, I'm a human being. So if I would have made a deal with Satan, then who God would be? But now you saying that because I didn't make a deal with Satan, I'm not God. Well, I'm saying, well, who is Satan? Me? How am I Satan? Am I commanded by God to tell you the truth? That's not what the definition of Satan says. It says that Satan is commanded by God to tempt you to sin. <laughs> I'm not, I'm telling you the truth. So in hopes that you won't sin. So now, so and we sent not before you any messenger except we revealed to him that there is no deity except me, so worship me. Now, let's, now this me using what the prophet Muhammad said to you as, a, as a, a devout Muslim. And I'm saying, well, hey, man, hold on. Today is the day that I have made. That's why I rejoice in it, right? Because I know that I won this day. 
on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning. Because if my enemy had it his way or its way, I would be in prison or dead. Because now my enemy is on legal life support because my enemy has made the people ignorant to my enemy's crime. So now people judging me. And I'm saying, well, why are you judging the victim? They saying, well, you're not a victim. I'm saying, well, how are you saying because of the way that I'm articulating the crime means that I'm not a victim of the crime that I'm articulating? Come on, man. But anyway, so it says in, in, in uh, chapter, 21, uh, chapter 21, verse 25, and we, so I'm establishing that we is the written law that I sent not before you, right? But I sent it before the enemies of mine, right? And now I'm coming before you as a messenger of my truth. See, that's where you getting confused because you used to people telling you about somebody else's truth. You're not used to somebody coming to you in their truth. You see what I'm saying? So now you're coming to me in your belief and see, that's why I see you fake and you see me real. See, because you coming to me and the understanding that you are not who you are, but I see you in your sickness. I don't see you in your glory. See, you see me in my glory, but you think I'm sick. But I'm saying, see, and it say, we sent not before you any message except we reveal. So now, is not the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, uh, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, ten, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran now revealing to you, me. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm using the Holy Quran to, to show you who I am. So, is not the Prophet Muhammad now legally testifying to me because I'm going to get him to reference me? See, that's what you're supposed to do. See, if you show yourself approved, what you believe should speak to who you are. Because, see, this just say we and him. It does not specify anybody. It say we. So that means you could be added to we if you are who you're supposed to be. Because then you will be a messenger of yourself, the truth, through the attack of you. See, like I'm coming to you from an attack of me. So I've made it to you as I am through the attack. But you don't want to look at the attacker that made me God. You want to look at me and say that I, being a man, has made myself a God. And that's when the Bible is now revealing you. The Quran is now revealing you. See what I'm saying? Because you are the disbeliever, but you helping the devil lie on the people. See, because the devil is lying on everybody and he lying to everybody. Because what else can the devil do but lie? See, so you think I'm saying, oh, he lying on me. No, he lying on you because you're not supposed to be in the situation you in. Your life is a lie. So how he telling you the truth? See, I'm telling you, you can be way greater and I'm giving you the example of greatness. See, but you want to put a monetary value on my mental greatness. And I'm saying, well, the devil never going to allow you to see the value of my mental greatness. Because once you see the value of my mental greatness, you will see that money has no value. <laughs> see, not to me. See, just like when the Bible says that you would be no priest to me, money has no value to me. Because when I went to court, money had no place in justice's court. See what I'm saying? See, even when they made me have to pay to open up the case, that was a crime. Because if you live in a democracy, all you're supposed to have to do is call 911 
and the police supposed to come and open up an investigation about the crime that's being committed against you. So you, it shouldn't cost me no money to free myself from a crime. But see, this is what happened when Satan is the judge or when Satan is the president or when Satan is over anything. It's not what it's supposed to be. It's an illusion of what it should be. That's why you have to become the human element inside of a spiritual conspiracy. <laughs> See, you have to remain human because if you change from your form, you will have no form. You will be void. See, you go back to the beginning when the heaven and earth was formed and, there, and the earth was void and without form. You see what I'm saying? See, once you show your image as a man, then a man's image become formed. And now the world has a man over it, not a entity, not a thing, not a beast. See, I am a human being, and that's why I'm doing what a human being supposed to do. I'm not supposed to make a deal with a beast that's not my kind. See, you got to go back to understand. See, we was created on the same day, but we are not the kind. I'm an image. I'm not a beast. You see what I'm saying? So now, now this is a, a, a verse 26. And they said the most uh, merciful has taken a son. Exalted is he. Rather they... Uh, but honor, honored servants. See? So now, look, and they said the most merciful has taken a son. See? That's my son, Tommy Chancey Castle Jr. See? That's when, that's how I'm showing you male uh, images of mine where I learn how to love you without feeling um, a certain way about it because I was taught that a man don't have affection for a man. You see what I'm saying? Like, I care for my people, but love, because I was ignorant. I didn't understand that it's the difference between love and lust. So I'm like, I love you, that man. I ain't gay. See what I'm saying? But once I had a son, then I realized how ignorant I was because I love this child. See what I'm saying? Because that child is a product of me. So if I don't love him, I don't love me. But that was true as well. Because somebody told me I was conceited. And so I didn't want to be conceited. So I, um, I didn't um, see myself. I saw myself in others. So I always gave of myself to myself that I saw in others. See what I'm saying? Because I could never be me, as you can see now. See, whenever the true me come out, the lies are abundant. See what I'm saying? Like, look, man, like people think that now is new to me, but now is only new to you. Because it's always been my life. That's why I'm a secret. I'm a revelation. See what I'm saying? Because I had to hide myself just to try to live. See, because look at me now. I can't live because you know who I am. But you don't want to accept who I am. So my value, my family's stealing, everybody's stealing me, right? But I'm saying, well, what is your God if you got to steal me? So, okay. Now, okay, so here we go. 27, they, they cannot precede him in word, and they act by his command. So wouldn't that be the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran. See, how can they perceive me in word if I didn't write the words that precede me? You see what I'm saying? See, these words that I'm writing precede us all. 
but I'm saying they pertain to me in this instance in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. See, I'm saying that these words reference me because I'm referencing these words and describing me as well as the entities that surround me illegally. See what I'm saying? So I'm commanding the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran to defend my bloodline for eternity. Because once I put the hedge around my family, who take the hedge off? See, without it being a crime, you got to come to court and remove the laws from around my family. And when you come to court, you're going to have to meet me, my God, and my family's God, unbeknownst to them. See what I'm saying? They didn't know that I was in court giving them legal salvation. Now, uh, and okay, 28. He knows what is presently before them and what will be after them. See what I'm saying now? How is that not, how is he not me in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. Who else other than those who was present at the time know what I know? See, that's why I'm going back to where the, when this uh, serpent told Eve that they'll be gods, they'll both know both good and evil. So now, if I'm in the court, in the midst of the courts, how I don't know both good and evil and how the judges and all of the people who was present who knew the law didn't know both good and evil. See, we was there. If I know them, they know me. Now, who do the, how do you who wasn't present in court, how do you know what happened in court and you wasn't present? See, I was there. See, he knows what is presently before them. See, see, I know what's presently before you in, in, in hoods and in projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world. Because I stood before the creator of everything you standing before presently on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, and I brought them to justice through the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, in the court of law. So how that's not in the midst of the Garden of Eden if it's in the midst of the courthouse? <laughs> See what I'm saying? So if you're not in the midst of the courthouse, how you know what's going on in the Garden of Eden? How you presently know? And I'm showing you in the Bible that this saying that he, not you, and I am he in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida. So now how can anybody else tell me anything different without going in the court and seeing what they standing before or who they standing before or who they talking to? See, if you don't know who I am in court, how you know what danger you are in speaking to me? How you know? So now, when you find out that you actually talking to the judge, now, when, do you remember that I charged you for what you're doing? See, you're going to be, I don't remember, I don't remember. See, that's what I'm saying. But I'm the judge. I remember, right? So does it matter what you remember? But now that I'm telling everybody and I got dates and times that I told everybody, now what? See, I'm saying, well, look, according to this scripture right here, you wrong. He, he knows what is presently before them and what will be after them. And they cannot intercede except on behalf of one whom have approved. Uh, uh, for, wait, excuse me. 
and they cannot intercede except on behalf of one whom he approves. He, me. See, this is what the prophet Muhammad is saying. See, you cannot intercede in this. You got to come to court. And if you come to court, you're going to see why you can't intercede in this legally, uh, historically, biblically, uh, uh, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, nor federally. You cannot intercede in this. It's done already. If you touch it, it's a crime. If you speak to me any kind of way, man, it's a crime. And I already charged you with attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and murder. That's what I'm telling you. I did not know it was the world. I thought it was the devil. But see, if the devil is deceiving the world, it's the world that the devil done deceived. So ain't nothing I can do. Because you done done what you did. And now you got to deal with what you done. See? So 9, it says, And they for from from fear of him are ap uh, apprehensive. Uh, apprehensive, apprehensive, apprehensive. <laughs> that, that's what. See, I'm getting it, you know. But hey, like I say, hey, this real. This ain't. It, but it's apprehensive. Like, like y'all getting apprehensive, right? Where you, you know, what? Let, let's look it up. Let's let's look at what they said. Yeah. See, this thing gonna change on me, but I know apprehensive. Oh, there this shit. Okay. Hold on, got to get to it. Okay, viewing the future with anxiety or alarm. See, so now they are they are afraid of what tomorrow going to bring because they know the crime that they committed on August 12, 2008 at 10:40 in the morning. See, this is what I'm telling y'all about ground zero. See what I'm saying? The people who caused the corruption know that they've been judged for the corruption that they caused. You see what I'm saying? But now we're going to have to um, bring them to court so we can then be free from the anxiety of their crime.